everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about the corner store. <laughs> it's it's that old problem, the corners of the room. Oh, I had like 11 calls this week on the corners of rooms. And every call, the person is operating not from physics, from what he's heard on the internet or this, that, or the other. So let's walk through some of these issues here, and hopefully it'll lend some understanding. So place low frequency treatment in the corners of the room. You hear this a lot, okay? So let's back up and examine that. From a marketing standpoint, you would create a product to go in the corners of the room for two reasons. One, people don't have anything in the corners. Psychologically, it's easy to put something in the corners because that's space you don't use. So there's a psychological uh, thing to it. And companies do a good job about convincing people and convincing people that that's all that's needed. That's what baffles me. There's nothing wrong with treating the corners, but it's the reason behind treating it that you're not getting. So you're not really treating it if you don't understand the reason why you're doing something. So that's the problem. So it is an area of low frequency pressure. That's what they, they tell us. But so is the wall. The wall's producing the problem. Why is that? Because, oh, let's go back to being an area of uh, the, uh, what are we talking about? Area of wall, area of high frequency pressure in the corners of the room. That can be true, but it's mostly middle and high frequency pressure, but the wall has greater pressure. So that's what we have to understand. So the wall is always pressurized at a particular frequency and amplitude because of the dimensions. And then of course the usage has an impact on amplitude, right? You're gonna have the same problem. You put more energy in the room, the problem is just bigger. That's amplitude. So what do we have? Well, we have those darn axial modes. Those are the most powerful of the three, right? Tangential and oblique. So it's between two parallel walls, floor, ceiling, sidewall, sidewall, front to rear. Remember, we got three sound fields. Three sound fields in a room, right? Floor, ceiling, sidewall, sidewall, front to rear. Three, all different, okay? Based on the dimension creates the problem. All at different frequencies and amplitude. If you treat the whole wall, this is what's interesting. The corners go away. Any pressure that was in the corner goes away, whatever it is. So what does that tell you? Once again, you know, it's this half true thing that we deal with in acoustics. Well, it works for this, but it really doesn't, it's a Band-Aid. That's, I think, the easiest way to call it. It's a Band-Aid. Treat the whole wall. The whole wall's producing the problem. You treat the whole wall, the corner goes away. Let's treat the whole wall, which benefits the whole room. Treating the corners, not enough surface area coverage. What's the corner of a whole wall? 5%? I don't know, 10%? It's not enough. I've never found in any treatment type, low frequency, middle, high frequency treatment type, that a five or 10% surface area coverage would work in any usage. So not in, in this for, for pressure management, right? Each set of our three sound fields has a different frequency and amplitude. We walked through that before. It's usage dependent. Vocal room is different than a drum room in treatment. Different treatment types, different surface area coverage, pretty much the same position, but different. So you have to match it to usage. We got two big powerful sponges, our ACDA series and our carbon panel. ACDA starts at 30 hertz. That's the big gun. Carbon panel, 40 hertz and up. So you pick your bottom that you want to start at. See a lot of rooms that have problems that start above 40. Perfect for the carbon panel. Those guys that need to be down in the 30s, the classical orchestra guys, EDM guys, they need the ACDA series. So different approaches for different problems, different technologies to solve different issues and treatments. Middle and high frequency, we have our foam ladders, our foam technology, second to none. You can see in the graphic here, it's performance, it's tremendous. 
Took eight years, $2 million to get. It's wonderful. You, you won't even believe it. We got some projects coming up that, are, that use our new vocal room approach with the CPA in the foam ladder. Watch those. You'll get a pretty good idea. The Corner Store. Once more about those corners. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. And if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to. So please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple of days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis. So that'll help you. Thank you.